Mexico, New Mexico State Police. Three people are dead and several more are injured. Now we brought this to you as breaking news late last night. According to the town's mayor, Linda Calhoun, it happened along East Main Street near Cooper King Trail. She also says the shooting was gang related, but did not say which gangs were involved. Now we have team coverage of yesterday's shooting. Julian Paras has more on the victims involved in the incident, but we start with anchor Sasha Leninger on what we know this morning. I'm standing on Main Street. It is the main road that runs through the town of Red River and just a few hundred feet behind me. You can see the flashing lights of law enforcement there. We do know several law enforcement agencies are on scene. The investigation here in the early stages, but here is what we know so far. Thousands from across the country are in town for the annual Red River Motorcycle Rally. This is the 41st year for the event and organizers are expecting roughly 28,000 people. A shooting broke out along Main Street, killing at least three people and injuring five others. The mayor of Red River telling us police arrived on scene within 30 seconds and that this shooting involves a biker gang. About five o'clock the call went out that there were shots being fired and I think the first fake police was on scene within about 30 seconds. Um, they quickly contained the area. There were no uh, first responders that were injured. No local Red River people were injured. It was it was strictly a, um, a biker gang um, involved shooting. You can see motorcycles all across Main Street as police investigate what unfolded here and why. Eddie Cook was nearby when those shots rang out. There was people running by where we were standing, screaming they're shooting down there. I never heard the shooting the first round, mm -hmm. but as they come by, as everybody was running by, then I, I heard the gunshots. Of the six injured, one victim was airlifted to a hospital in Denver. Police say that hospital has been put on alert. Same with two other hospitals, which are being secured by law enforcement. They include Holy Cross Hospital in Taos, which is an, about an hour from where I am now, and the University of New Mexico Hospital in Albuquerque, which is three hours south. It is the only level one trauma center in all of New Mexico. And New Mexico State Police is the lead agency in this investigation. We do expect an update from them sometime today, but they do tell us there was no ongoing threat to the public. In Red River, New Mexico, I'm Sasha Leninger. Back to you. As Sasha just mentioned, one of the victims was airlifted to UNM Hospital, which is the only level one trauma center in the entire state. Here's Julian Pottas with the latest. The Red River situation is something everyone is trying to understand. While law enforcement is trying to investigate it, we are trying to understand what information we can possibly offer you. As of right now, these are the details we know. According to Chris Ramirez with the University of New Mexico Hospital, there has been at least one victim transported here. Earlier yesterday evening, I got the chance to see one of these helicopters fly in with a victim. The UNMH is also the only level one trauma center in the state, which may explain why victims are being transported here. So we know this is a serious situation. Other than that, details are very slim, but we will be sure to offer you additional information once it is available to us. At UNMH, Julian Paras, KYT, Action 7 News. Meanwhile, we've been getting pictures and video from people at the rally yesterday showing us what the area looked like. One viewer capturing a crowd of people and motorcycles slowing as they travel along Main Street and ambulances trying to get through the streets. You can also see lights and people walking away from the scene. Now we spoke with one visitor in Red River from Fort Worth. He tells us about the moments right after shots were being fired. It was a huge crowd. I mean, it was it covered it. It covered all of Red River. There was people running by where we were standing, screaming they're shooting down there. I never heard the shooting the first round. Mm -hmm. But as they come by, as everybody was running by, then I, I heard the gunshots. He also says police had everything shut down and blocked off within minutes. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham tweeting out this statement overnight, saying in part she is in close contact with the mayor of Red River and law enforcement on the response to the shootings. She goes on to say my thoughts are with the Red River community following this violent incident.